Hello and welcome to the Woman Fully Alive podcast. I'm your host, Madeline Eames. And as you can see today, I'm coming to you from my cottage where I live and work sometimes, especially in, you know, in the depths of winter when it's cold outside and it's cozy here. So that's my different background. So I'm so glad that you're here with me today. This podcast is all about women expanding at midlife and beyond and why that is the perfect time and why anybody, including you, can do this. It's not some special technique meant for only some people. This is for you. Yes, especially you. So today what I'm really going to talk about is what if your purpose here was to be able to expand through the contractions, to stay open through what keeps you small, to stay open in this world through the extremes. Now we have a natural tendency in our central nervous system to retract, to contract from things we don't like, from things that are painful, uh, from things that are hurtful. And that's a really uh, important survival mechanism. But as you might start to find out, if you keep on following my, my podcasts and my, my teachings, is that we're like, it's like we get pricked and we retract, but we're getting pricked all the time. And, you know, we're actually pricking ourselves a lot of the time. So what does this actually mean for my own expansion? Anytime we resist something, anytime we're fighting against something, we create this armor in our body that resists everything. So does this mean I just lie down and open up to everything and become like a jellyfish? No. It means that we start to become really aware of where we are pricking ourselves and going ouch and retracting and being able to stay practice, staying open through it. Now, staying open through the extremes is really what this world is asking of us right now. And there are so many um, arguments and conflicts and aggression going on right now that it's easy to retreat. It's easy to go on retreat in yourself or retreat like I do to my cabin. But staying open within yourself when you most want to retreat might be one of the most healing and bravest and strongest things that you do. And this requires an inner muscle. It's not that those big displays of power that we see out there where people are fighting and politicians are yelling. No, it's not that kind of aggression at all. I'm talking about true power. And actually, this is the true power of love. So let's take an example. If you have a relationship that's very stressful for you, and it's someone that maybe right now, you know, you, you have them in your life, and that's the way it is right now. And nobody says you have to cancel everybody that make, gives you stress because pretty much everybody in some way gives us some kind of, uh, some kind of stress because we're, we're all different. It's natural. But let's say, let's take, for example, um, a, a partner or let's take a friend. So this friend, you can see she's, she drains you, gives you some stress. Um, yet there's some part of you that still wants to, to, you know, be in her circle and be around her. So maybe when you're around her, you feel yourself contracting and, oh, and okay, you know, it's, uh you know, time for me to go. And you can feel all these pricks happening in your body. And I mean, like, like, a, like pricking a, a balloon almost. 
what would it be like, just as an example, to practice, to use those situations as experiments, as laboratories, because this will translate to everything else in your life. So you're there with her, you're breathing, so you're expanding in your body, you're not going into contraction or you notice where you contract and you breathe expansively, side to side, front to back in our expansion breath. You continue to stay connected to your feet and your seat. So you're relaxed down into your seat and your feet. You're present. You're present there with her. So you're not guarding yourself. You're staying aware of her and you're staying aware of yourself. So you're present with her. You're staying expansive and you start to notice inside your body, you know, something comes up and you have something to offer her. And so you give some sort of uh, comment or advice or um, share something. And then you start to notice in your body that you're starting to feel full now. You're starting to feel tired. And you know that it's time for you to go. So staying connected, you say, thank you. Um, you know, it's been great to see you. I have to go now and you set that boundary and you leave. So that's an example where you might have stayed stressed and contracted through that experience and then left in a ball of stress, complaining and, and you know, perhaps blaming her about, um, you know, the situation. And when we start to do that, we start to expand through the contractions. We start to notice we can be present in other areas. Not only do we feel more peaceful, but we also give a gift and start to affect the people around us in miraculous ways that you might not know yet. So just by you staying present and loving, we change our environment around us. And, but mostly, we feel more peaceful and more ease in our own bodies. So does this mean that we have to watch the news and stay expansive and breathe through it? No, it means you stay intimately connected with your own self and you notice the contractions, the feelings, the thoughts that come and go and come and go and your true power lies with being the one who is watching it all. Being the witness to your own experience is the most magical, the most powerful place to be. So I'm gonna invite you to experiment with this. Try to stay expanded through the extremes. Be in touch with what reality is here now, not just one part of it. And this includes in the wider world, but it also includes inside our body. So this is the mirror. Instead of just being in touch with all the good parts and all the parts you wanna gravitate with to, you know, the chocolate cake and all that yummy stuff, we also stay present to the gifts of our guilt, of our fear, of our shame, of our anger. And there's nothing wrong with any of it because there's nothing wrong with you. So friends, let me know how this experiment goes for you. Can you take one small situation, one small person and titrate? That means little by little, expand into it. Give yourself doses of expansion and soon enough, your body, your nervous system will start to shift and therefore the world around you, your world will start to shift. I hope this has been helpful and I wish you all the most peace and ease 
and love you can feel in your body at midlife and beyond. So don't forget to like my video, subscribe, join my membership group, The Rising Collective. We're starting up in February and we meet twice a month for coaching and also for other cool stuff like deep breath work. It's all about your expansion. My new course, The Expansion Blueprint, is the course for women to take who are ready for expansion in your body, mind, soul, and spirit um, at midlife and beyond. And that's a monthly course. It happens every month. It's high intensity. It's There's a, a lot of real good healing, deep stuff in there that you can go back to again and again because this is an ongoing um, evolution. This is an ongoing journey. And the beauty of it is that it is limitless. Why? because you are limitless. You have only learned scarcity in yourself, in your abilities, in your money, in your relationships. And so I invite you to ask now, exactly how good can this get? Exactly how peaceful and loving can I feel in my own body? And that is where we are going with Woman Fully Alive. Take care, friends. See you in the next episode.